What's up guys, Apox here. Welcome to part 2B of Fallout New Vegas modding and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a New Vegas Script Extender or NVSE for short. So let's get right into this. So first off, before we get into the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and say if you haven't watched the previous video where I explained what NVSE is and how it works, I suggest you go watch that if you don't already know. And anyways, let's go ahead and start this off. So what page you'll be brought to is actually called nvse.silverlock.org. And once you're at this page, you can go ahead and just look at the download latest version. It should say latest version. It may be different when you go ahead and go download this, but currently it is at 4.2 before. And we're just going to go ahead and click the download link. And it'll just give us a direct link and we can go ahead and save it to our desktop. Now you are going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip or something to extract this file and you can simply just right click and go extract here. We're going to go ahead and extract this to our desktop and it will give us a bunch of files here. We're going to drag this over and as you guys can see it gives us a bunch of files. Now what you're going to need to do is actually go to your New Vegas directory and you can do that by simply going to where you installed the game. I personally install it in the default category or the default uh, directory so we can go ahead and go program files 86 and go down to Steam and then we can go to Steam Apps and Common and Follow New Vegas. And once you are in here you can go ahead and just choose the files that you need. So you need the uh, all the .dll files so you want to go ahead and select all of those and you want to select the NVSE loader as well. So what you want to do now is simply just drag these over into your directory here and as you can see we got that already there. Now this is the readme for any changes and so on. Don't really need this unless you want to read it. And then what's new and another readme. So if you want to actually read these you can go ahead but we don't need to do that. SRC, this is just for people that know how to use this and uh, for people that are doing modding with NVSE in their mods. So we can go ahead and actually just, here we'll go ahead and close that. We can actually just delete this and the directory or the uh, zip file. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and just run up the NVSE loader. So run that. And then we're going to go ahead and test and see if it worked properly. So all you have to do is simply at the main menu once you get here, you can hit the tilde key or the console command key. It totally depends on your keyboard and your uh, country. So for me, it's right beside the one and it's called the tilde key, I believe. And you, go, you can go ahead and just hit that. It's like a squiggly looking line. And if you already know what your console command key is, just go ahead and press that and type in get NBSE version. And you want to make sure that you put in the um, uppercase and the lowercase properly just because some people seem to have a lock and it doesn't seem to register properly when they don't put it in the proper uppercase and lowercases. So we want to go ahead and just hit enter and it'll say NVSE version 4. And that will tell you that it is working. If it gives you like an error code or something like that, that means it doesn't exist and it's not working. So I suggest you going back to the beginning of the video and make sure that you follow the t tutorial properly. And then we're just going to go ahead and load up our game and make sure that it is working correctly. I, per I currently have... Uh, Project Nevada installed. I don't believe it's not gonna work. Yeah, uh, so I gotta go ahead and go quit and exit game and The reason for this is actually because I run it through mod organizer now uh, So what I have to do is actually run the uh, NVSE here, so we're gonna go ahead and open up mod organizer. We're gonna go to um, We're gonna go ahead and close this actually and go and open it up again so mod organizer run it wait for it to open up, run, and then we should see NVSE right here. It should automatically detect it. If it doesn't, you can simply go into the settings, I believe, and as you can see, you can modify the executables. All you have to do is go in here and find the NVSE loader and choose it, uh, but we already have it. So we can go ahead and create a shortcut for our desktop, and you can see that it created a 
shortcut right here and we can go ahead and drag it right there NBSE but we're gonna go ahead and rename it to follow New Vegas NBSE and then what we can do now is just run our game through there and hit run and then we can go ahead and wait for it to load up and then once your game has loaded up you can simply test it again to make sure NBS, NBSE is working correctly. So hit the tilde key, type in get NBSE version. And this these steps are only required if you have mod organizer uh, so that you can actually get your mods working. So let's go ahead and load up our save again. Uh, we can just load up this one here. And then once your save pops up, you should see all your Project Nevada stuff. So to quickly equip, blah, blah, blah doesn't matter and as you guys can see we've got project Nevada working our uh, grenade hockey is currently working we can go and hit escape and you can see project or mod configuration menu is working so you can see that we can go and edit all of our project Nevada stuff and we can go ahead and close that and then I'm gonna show you the sprinting does work. I just don't believe it's enabled right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure it is. It might just be because this is at the beginning of the game and I haven't passed this. Yeah, so it is working. It's just that I have not um, uh, passed this. As you guys can see, now we've got the uh, voice modulator implant there and our mods are working. So that's how you install the NBSE. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this again. And then we can go ahead and quit our game. And now NBSE is working. So that's how you install NBSE and how you get it working with Mod Organizer. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, please smack the like button down below and subscribe to join in the good fight. And don't forget to come back for the next tutorial in this series. The next tutorial is actually going to be about performance. And it's going to be much, much more than I've ever gone over for Fallout New Vegas. So anyways, guys, like I said, if this video did help you out, please smack the like button down below and subscribe to join in the good fight. But anyways, guys, this has been Epoxy. Don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.